Hey guys, welcome back to another far side episode. Let's see which one. Which one needs to go on first? Which one needs to go on first? That means there's a little bit of lag. But he's pressing it. So, as you guys can hear, we did end up going to the nether since the last episode. And you just heard it click. The cyst, as you guys can hear. Here all those chickens. And stone eggs. Stone eggs, man. That's what we want. So, today, you know what? I got a little bit of a thing we can do here that um, you guys notice so I put a I'll show you guys it in a little bit but I want to be able to go down there kill the chickens but still have a full hopper full of eggs down there to be able to then start the system back up and it be able to repopulate uh, so the way I can I'm gonna circumvent that is you can't you can't even tell when you look down here the system but right now if I put that through it's gonna throw it back right now I put a lever down there so levers levers flicked anything that goes in <clears throat> let's try again levers flicked put that in there and it stays so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna sit here for a little bit and let this uh see now we should have some should have some eggs in there Go. Does it not accept? Hmm. Maybe my... Maybe my whole theory is totally wrong. Stuff is going through there. What happened? It doesn't even accept items. When it's powered, huh? Scratch that idea, I guess. I guess there goes clusters. Great idea, man. Well, anyways, we're gonna we're gonna start this off with a little bit of a butchering episode. Uh, we're gonna do some butchering, you know, uh, and then we're gonna hopefully get at that today. Um, start taking that out a little bit. Um, let's just. Look at that. Look at all this stuff. So let's get some meat and some leather. Here we go. Oh, there with the cell phone. <laughs> Got to silence it. Ah, get them all. Get them all. Now, I'd, I I know you can use fire aspect and whatnot. Ooh, good game. Good game. Um, I know I can use fire aspect and everything, but I like to have the meat to be able to cook it because then I can get the levels from it and everything like that. So let's see how much we get from here. And I know I should. I really should have a looting sword. But I don't have a leaving sword, so there's one. You know what, we'll leave. Let's. All you guys get out of here. How many we got in here? Oh, wow. All right, we'll, we'll keep doing a couple more of you. Because I don't need all of you dead, but I don't necessarily need all of you here either. So how many does that leave us at? Look at these entities. We got about 60 or so. We still don't need that many. So we're going to butcher a couple more. Let's do you a little bit more. Let's just... You know, I, I don't want it to be, like, constantly packed, so we'll leave enough to where there's room in here so we can breed them again, but enough room to where they can to where they can still walk around. You know, and that it's not that you don't hear the constant sort of thing like you do over here, which the sheep will just keep, really. There we go. There we go. Did he fall again? Nope. All right. Or did he? He did. Good game. What you doing? What? <laughs> What you doing? What you doing, son? So, um, look at that. Perfect. See, there's enough in there where it's not crowded, but, you know, hit the ground again. What's he doing? Um, let's go down here and get that. What? Is it not picking it up? No, it is. Okay. Um, ooh, so, see, we got three stacks and a bunch of leather, which is good. That's plenty. Oh, <laughs> Which is plenty, 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 plenty. Um, what else was I going to do? I was going to butcher these chickens, but I have to find a way. Hmm. I have to find a way that those... You know, we'll hit it with this. Alright, so I got the lever. Okay, come on. You done yet? I know I technically could, like, do this. 
maybe, and would that hold it? And then it gets up to here. No, it's probably stuck in that bottom one, isn't it? The next one. Which one's it stuck in? Yeah, see, it stopped. That stopped the whole system. It looked like so. That might be something I have to do. But I don't want it. I don't want to have a lever sitting right here. Hmm. We'll think about it. All right. So <laughs> I watched a video from my friend uh, Tort Timer, and he had this little. As you guys can see, we got some eggs. We got a whole thing of eggs. I just decided to do that. I needed to collect the eggs because we're going to butcher these chickens. But uh, so. Uh, there might be some baby chickens in here, but there shouldn't be because I've had them done for like a couple minutes now. Probably like 10 minutes or so that I've been working on something. Um, but I was watching a video from one of my friends called Tort Timer, the Gray. If you guys don't know him, check him out. I'll put his link in the description. He had a video of him making a automatic cooking, uh, chicken cooker. And I thought, you know what, that'd be nice. That'd be nice to be able to just set something like that up in here. And I could, I could do that. But then I realized... You know what? You know what else I really want is I want not only a chicken cooker, but I would like also a raw chicken gatherer. So like, if we could do something, I thought to myself, if we could do something where we create a system where like this, where chickens spawn just like this, and we could have one dispenser dispense lava to kill them half the time, and then the other half the time have another dispenser that dispenses water for a lengthy period of time and kills them, and then we get raw chicken. I thought, huh, I wonder if that's possible. So I, actually, that's where I've been. I've been in a creative world testing it out, and you can kill water with chickens. Or you can kill water with chickens. Yep, you can kill water with chickens. Um, but you can kill chickens with water is what I was trying to say. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. Instead of having this thing where I just come down here and do this and collect chicken and then blah, blah. What I'm going to do is, you know, I'm, I'm still in the thought, but I'm going to have it so I can disable the the uh the automatic cooking of the chickens so the lava dispenser i will have it so i can disable that portion of it but i want to um i want to be able to gather raw chicken because if you guys remember from the last map raw chicken was something that you could build build or trade with villagers and i want to have villager villager trading here on this map so um cuz i'm assuming that since so far this map has been great we haven't had any issues with it and so I figured we're probably gonna be here for a while. So let's really do it, do it, do it in on this map. Um, so I want to make. Oh man, I almost have enough levers, lo levers. I almost have enough levels for an enchantment. Which, like I said, I'm gonna be taking out some of this uh, stuff over here. So I'm going to have to um, uh, get a shovel. That's probably what I'll go enchant later. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd show you guys. I got, I got. Uh, the chicken are the eggs here. I've been killing these chickens, and I'm gonna make a automatic chicken cooker, and then a raw chicken gatherer. So uh, we'll uh, g gather that stuff, and we'll be back. We'll probably do a little bit of work on that in between. So see you guys in a little bit. So guys, like I said, I didn't quite get any of this mountain taken care of. Like I said, I was going to, but if we look over here. Yeah, I got all of this forest taken care of. To get all that forest. So I went ahead and I uh, put a, if you guys can see that stone wall right going across there, it's behind that little hill going across there, it goes up the side of that mountain, goes around, comes back down, goes all the way across over there. Well, that's centered around that point. That's going 128 blocks out each way from the corners or from the sides of the witch hut where witches, you know, where you want to build a witch farm. Um, so that, uh, that means all of this area from there all the way around, which isn't too bad. When you look at it from right here to over there, like that distance, that doesn't seem that bad, but when you take that's 256 by 256, that's a lot of area to cover in half slabs. So, um, <laughs> so, um, I can't decide what I want to do yet. Um, part of me says, let's just destroy the living crap out of this mountain. Part of me does say that. Let's, let's just do it, you know? Um, but the other part of me says, just make half slabs and half slab everything. And then you don't have to demolish the thing. So then, but I don't know. 
You know, I really don't know. I want to demolish it because I think it would be, like, fun. But uh, the other part of me doesn't want to demolish it because I don't think it would be fun. <laughs> uh, so, hey, there's Addy. There's Addy. How you doing, Addy? Hey, Addy. Um, so, yeah. I have to decide. I really do. Um, but for sure, the swamp area, like all the swamp area, because that, I want to build like in the swamp. Um, for sure, all that swamp area on the mountain. Um, <laughs> hey, how you doing? <laughs> um, I want to, I'm not going to half slab that. I'm just going to put, no, not a birch tree, really. Um, I want to put uh, lighting at the top of all these trees. Because I'm going to keep the tops of these trees like I have around my base so far. But I'm going to put light on the top of them. So that it's, you know, it's a light area. Um, and then I'm going to uh, put lights on the floors. Like uh, redstone lamps. I'm going to get rid of the torches. There's not going to be any torches in this area. But... I'm thinking I'll demolish this area. I think I want to demolish it and then flatten out this area. Um, and then I'm, I'm thinking about in the swamp area, like in the swamp area, I'm thinking about filling all this water in with sand. Um, because I want to, like I said, I want to make this like a multi-level farm. Um, it's not going to only be a witch farm. I want to make a squid farm in there. Um, so I need to get rid of all this water that's close by. Um, I want to, uh, you know, I just want to make everything. And I want to try to make an above ground slime farm since I'm at a swamp. Um, you know, but the only problem with above ground slime farm in a swamp, I think I would have to half slab this swamp area. Actually, now that I think about it, yeah, I probably would. So, uh, I'm going to, um, get working on something. I can't decide yet if I want what I want to do. So we'll bring it back when I decide. Hey guys, so we did a little bit of work. Um, this used to be all birch forest over here. And man, why is my frames keep, my frames are dropping. Um, but we got rid of all the forest in this boundary, as you guys can see. And what is going on? I don't understand. Maybe it's just the chunks loading, cause when I look the other way. But we set fire to them. Uh, we cleared out the extra stumps. I gotta go clear out a couple over there. Like I said, we're keeping the swamp because I want the swamp to be lit up, the treetops of the swamp to be lit up. Um, and then we went ahead and uh, did the same thing over there. And as you guys can see, it's uh, as we go along the wall right here and come up, the wall goes up here, goes up over there, and then goes behind the mountain and then comes back over here. There wasn't very much forest because over there on the other side, that's just a drop off. I heard a mob. Um, but we lit up. Let's see if we can get a little closer and see it a little better. We lit up this area over here. We lit up all of that over there. So that's all lit up. I just, like, I, I know I was trying to decide if I want to lit it up, light it up, what I want to do. And, uh, you know what? I decided I'm just going to light it up. Um, it doesn't look the best in my opinion. I don't like it the most. But I think, for one, it's going to be the quickest uh, compared to flattening it all out and half slabbing it. And I don't know. I just... I just, I just don't feel like flattening it all out. Um, cause this is an extreme hills. This thing's huge. So, I mean, maybe, but I mean, I like extreme hills and I kind of like building on them. So part of me is thinking, I'll put the mob farm or put the witch farm right here. But as long as you light up, I can still build around here, you know? So part of me is thinking, I'll just, um, I'll just build here. Be look at this leg. We're getting server leg here the last couple days and oh man it is just horrible hopefully they've been restarting the server a couple times today so hopefully that means they're working actually working on something because that's what they're supposedly doing is like upgrading the servers or something so hopefully that means that that's what they're doing by this uh couple restarts we've had today so far um man it's gonna be a lot of lighting up to do though Spent me, took me quite a while just to light that up, and that's flat. That's just, oh, that's just running, you know, running and placing like that and whatnot. But these extreme hills are going to be a pain in the butt. I mean, and I've been, I've been trying to space them out pretty evenly. Like, I've been trying to go one, two, three, four, five, and then up, and then place. So, like, that far away. 
And it's been pretty good, but I think in this extreme... Ooh, see, look at that. Look at that spider fly. <laughs> Watch, it's probably going to bounce off him. Nope, nope. Oh, I actually hit him. Uh, so, that's... I'm probably going to have to go a little bit closer. Like I said, over there, there's five blocks in between. We were good on the... Good on the lighting, except for when we got into the hills area. So, I might have to go a little bit closer, considering this is all hilly. Uh, it's going to take a lot of torches and a lot of jumping and stuff like whatnot like this but uh you know but going saying what i was saying if we go right here you know we're coming up on seven eight nine eight see I, i'd like it to be for sure Ooh, that was a seven back there it was an eight seven right there see so this extreme hills is going to be a little bit more difficult to uh light up compared to that flat land over there so, uh, I think we're just going to do some more lighting up. The <laughs> light, I mean, this is the beginning of the witch farm. So, uh, you know, you got to light up the area and light up the caves first. So, woo, 360, boom. Oh, missed. I almost did a 360 no scope on that guy. Yeah, yeah, fall, fall. Oh, there you go. So, hopefully, you know, hopefully this leg issue gets sorted out in the next couple of days. Or at least not even next, next couple of days, next couple of hours. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It is kind of funny to, <laughs> to walk around now that some of this area is lit up pretty well. To walk around to like the non-lit up areas. Let me see. I'm going to show you guys right here. Like right over here, this area is not lit up. And there's like... <laughs> there's mob. Oh, there were more mobs. I thought there was more. It looked like more from from before. But it's just kind of funny. and Because the same thing is starting to happen in the caves. Uh, <laughs> when I see like right there, look at all those mobs. It's like, oh, there's a little dark area right here, so we're just going to spawn right there. But anyways, guys, <laughs> I think it's good. Okay. How about down here? Oh, none down there. That's surprising. But the same thing happens in, in my caves right now. They're so, like, when I find an unlit cave down below, it's just, like, it's just ridiculous. Like, there's so many mobs when you get to a certain area. It's pretty cool. Uh but as you can see, oh, well, we got a little bit of area. I reason why this is still not lit, I ran out of coal. Um, you know, I've been lighting up caves and I've been grabbing, when I'm down below lighting up caves, I grab coal as I go and as I need it to where I haven't really been gathering that much coal. Uh, so yeah, I kind of ran out. But as you guys can see, let's get to the top up here. Um, so as you guys can see, that was all lit up over there at, like before. This stuff that I'm climbing now is lit. So we got this half of the mountain done. Um, just need to get that little strip. You know, once I get that little strip done, I might be pretty close to... Oh, I got this over here too. I forgot. I, I tried to get around like around the hut pretty well. Um, ow. Ow. Hey. How you doing? I'm going to hit you off a shovel. See ya. See ya. Fall to your death. Yep, you're down there. <laughs> He's a little bit hoppy, a little bit hoppy. But, uh, so I just gotta, you know, this side will be pretty easy to light up. It's pretty flat. Um, and then for the swamp, I'm gonna have to go to the nether and get, uh, a bunch of glowstone. Um, because like I said, you know, I can't decide if I want to put glowstone up there because I do have a silk touch. So I could put the, you know, I could just gather silk touch, or gather silk touch. I could just gather glowstone and put glowstone in there. But I was kind of thinking uh, redstone lamps. But I'm th starting to think glowstone now, actually. Um, so I'll probably try to get that between now and next episode. Um, go into the nether and get a bunch of glowstone so that I can just light up those trees. And then, uh, then, we'll have to, you know, then we'll have to go around individually one by one and kind of pick out areas where there's not very much light, and then I'll put in the ground, I'll put in uh, redstone lamps. I'll definitely be putting in redstone lamps in the ground. So, you know, I'll I'll dig down to, put a torch, put a redstone lamp, and call it good. Um, different places in the swamp, because that's, like I said, I want to, I don't want to have the swamp be a bunch of torches. I want the swampy area to be, you know, redstone lamps lit. Um, but, you know, like I said, I'm out of torches right now. I'm out of coal, so I got to go find some coal. And so that means, uh, whoa, hey, what's up, dude? How you doing? Boom! Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, you're not dead? Die. Um, so, 
that's going to go ahead and I guess I'm going to end that episode here uh, just because I need to go get some coal. And, uh, yeah. So, like always, oh, ow. Ow, that hurt. Is it my butt? No. Okay. <laughs> well, guys, like always, I thank you guys for watching. Now my name is no longer VLSI. I renamed myself to Cluster. Uh, I think I told you guys that, but, um, you know, I'm changing everything to Cluster just because that's my in-game name, and that's what everyone calls me. So, I thank you guys for watching. My name's Cluster, and don't die. Dream big. <laughs> <laughs>